Did you know that the simple practice of gratitude can transform your life in ways you never imagined? In a world that often feels overwhelming, where stress and distractions abound, it's easy to overlook the beauty of the present moment. But if you want to cultivate a deeper sense of fulfillment, resilience and joy, you need to explore the powerful principles of Stoicism and the transformative techniques that come with it. From Premeditatio Malorum, or the Premeditation of Evils, to the Art of Mindfulness, this video will guide you through practical steps to embrace life fully and appreciate every moment. Join me as we uncover how these timeless teachings can help you navigate life's challenges with grace, foster meaningful connections, and ultimately recognize the precious gift of being alive. Let's dive into this journey together and unlock the secrets to a more fulfilling life. Number one, the power of response. Life is a roller coaster, isn't it? One moment you're riding high, laughing with friends, feeling the sun on your face. The next, you're facing challenges that feel insurmountable, bills piling up, relationships fraying, or the weight of a job that seems never ending. It's easy to get swept up in the chaos, allowing external circumstances to dictate our emotions and responses. But what if I told you that your greatest power lies not in changing those circumstances, but in choosing how you respond to them? Imagine standing at a crossroads, feeling overwhelmed. You can choose to let the negativity engulf you, or you can embrace a different path, one that leads to resilience and inner peace. This realization can transform your life, turning obstacles into stepping stones. As we delve into the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor who faced endless turmoil, we discover the essence of Stoic philosophy. While we cannot control the events that unfold around us, we have full authority over our thoughts and reactions. Picture him, seated in his chamber, reflecting on the chaos of his empire yet finding tranquility in the knowledge that his response is within his control. This ancient wisdom resonates with us today. It's not merely historical, it's a lifeline. The way we perceive and react to the world around us can either enhance our joy or diminish it. Have you ever caught yourself spiraling into negativity after a minor setback? Maybe you received a critical email or had an awkward interaction. It's all too easy to let those moments overshadow the good in our lives. But what if, instead, you chose to see these challenges as opportunities for growth? How would that shift in perspective affect your day-to-day -day experiences? Reflecting on our reactions can stir up nostalgia. Think back to a time when you faced a difficult situation and felt powerless. Yet somehow, you found the strength to move forward. That moment of clarity when you realized you could choose your path, despite the chaos surrounding you, was pivotal. Number two, importance of thought in Stoicism. Now, let's dive deeper into the heart of Stoicism, the importance of thought. If you've ever felt that your thoughts are on a loop, racing through worries and doubts, you're not alone. Our minds can become a battlefield with negative thoughts playing on repeat, eroding our peace and joy. But consider this, what if your thoughts are not merely fleeting moments in your mind, but powerful forces that shape your reality? This perspective can be eye-opening. Think about those days when you wake up feeling defeated before your feet even touch the floor. The narrative you tell yourself, whether it's, I can't handle today or I'll never be successful, sets the tone for your entire day. Now, allow yourself to feel that weight. Recall a time when you let a single negative thought spiral into a cascade of anxiety and stress. Perhaps it was before a big exam, a job interview, or even a simple social gathering. That feeling of dread can be overwhelming, and it's relatable for many of us. But what if you flipped that script? Instead of focusing on the potential failures, what if you emphasized your past successes and your ability to navigate challenges? 
This is where the Stoic practice of reflection comes into play. The Stoics believed in the power of examining one's thoughts, much like a gardener tending to weeds in a garden. By identifying and challenging negative thoughts, you cultivate a mindset that thrives. Nostalgia can seep in as we think back to the moments when we were hard on ourselves. Those high school days filled with insecurities or the early career struggles that made us doubt our abilities. Yet it's also a reminder of our growth. Remember how far you've come since then? The power of positive thinking, rooted in Stoic philosophy, enables us to challenge those self-limiting beliefs. Now, let that realization spark curiosity within you. What could you achieve if you harnessed this mental discipline? Imagine viewing every setback as an opportunity for growth, reframing every challenge as a stepping stone towards success. Number three, transforming negative thoughts. Transforming negative thoughts is more than just a mental exercise. It's a profound shift that can redefine your entire approach to life. Think about those moments when you felt trapped by your own thoughts, when you replayed past mistakes, clung to regrets or feared future failures. It's a heavy burden to carry and one that many of us know all too well. Yet the Stoics provide us with a roadmap to navigate this turbulent terrain. The first step is recognizing that our automatic thoughts often come with skewed judgments, shaped by emotions and biases that cloud our perception. Feel that sense of nostalgia as you reflect on past struggles. Maybe it was a time when a single failure made you question your worth or abilities. Those memories can evoke a bittersweet longing for simpler times, but they also serve as powerful reminders of resilience. The truth is, everyone faces challenges, but not everyone allows those challenges to define them. Think back to that moment when you realized that your thoughts didn't have to dictate your reality. Instead, you could challenge them. This revelation can feel liberating. Now, let's dive deeper into the mechanics of transforming those thoughts. The Stoics teach us the importance of questioning our automatic responses. When you find yourself thinking, I'm terrible at this, pause and ask, is this thought reasonable? Reflect on your past achievements. This isn't just about suppressing negativity. It's about engaging with it, understanding its roots, and then reframing it into something constructive. For example, instead of saying, I've failed, so there's no point in trying again, shift your perspective to, this failure is an opportunity to learn and grow. I can try again with new insights. This journey can stir curiosity about your thought patterns. What recurring negative thoughts hold you back? Can you challenge them and reframe your narrative? This is where transformation begins. As you explore this process, remember that you're not alone. Everyone grapples with self-doubt, but the difference lies in how we choose to respond to those thoughts. By actively engaging in this practice, you not only cultivate a more resilient mindset, but you also create a space for curiosity about your potential. Number four, practicing premeditatio malorum. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of calmness, a quiet confidence that no matter what the day throws your way, you are prepared to handle it. This practice is rooted in the stoic technique known as premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. It's a powerful tool that can transform your perspective on daily challenges. As you start your day, consider the potential obstacles ahead, unexpected delays, difficult conversations, or even minor annoyances that could disrupt your flow. By acknowledging these challenges before they arise, you give yourself the mental clarity and emotional fortitude to navigate them effectively. Reflect on a time when you faced a significant challenge unprepared. Perhaps it was a presentation at work where technology failed, or a personal situation that caught you off guard. The feeling of being blindsided can leave you anxious and overwhelmed, unable to respond effectively. 
Now think about how different that experience would be if you had mentally rehearsed those scenarios beforehand. Instead of feeling paralyzed by anxiety, you could approach each situation with a sense of control and preparedness. This preemptive approach is not about pessimism rather, it's about fostering resilience. As you delve deeper into this practice, you might feel a wave of nostalgia. Recall those moments in your life when unexpected challenges arose. Maybe it was a family crisis or a job loss. In those times, did you find yourself reacting out of fear or anxiety? This memory serves as a poignant reminder of how unpreparedness can amplify stress. The Stoics understood that by anticipating adversity, we can reduce its emotional impact. Marcus Aurelius himself would remind himself daily that he would encounter ungrateful, arrogant, and difficult people. Instead of letting their behavior derail him, he used these reflections to prepare mentally, allowing him to respond with patience and understanding. The beauty of premeditatio malorum lies in its ability to shift your focus from dread to empowerment. It invites curiosity about the nature of life's unpredictability. What if you viewed obstacles as opportunities for growth rather than threats? This shift in perspective can foster a sense of adventure in your daily life. By preparing for potential setbacks, you're not just bracing for impact, you're actively shaping how you respond. You might find yourself wondering what potential challenges could I prepare for today? Number five, embracing the present moment. In our fast-paced world, it's all too easy to become lost in thoughts about the past or future, missing out on the richness of the present moment. Marcus Aurelius encapsulated this wisdom perfectly when he urged us to give ourselves the gift of the present. Imagine standing on a beautiful beach, the waves lapping at your feet, the sun warming your skin, yet your mind races with worries about tomorrow or regrets from yesterday. It's a bittersweet realization that while life offers these precious moments, we often let them slip away, consumed by distractions. Think back to a time when you truly embraced the present. Perhaps it was a family gathering filled with laughter, a quiet moment of reflection in nature, or simply enjoying a cup of coffee in peace. Those moments resonate with warmth and contentment, reminding us of what it feels like to be fully engaged with life. Nostalgia can evoke a longing for that sense of presence, a reminder that such experiences are fleeting yet profound. When we anchor ourselves in the present, we open ourselves to the joy and beauty that surround us. However, embracing the present moment requires practice and intention. It involves letting go of the need to control everything and accepting what is. The Stoics taught that we should focus on what we can influence, our thoughts and actions, while accepting what lies beyond our control. This acceptance can be incredibly liberating. Imagine walking through a park, fully aware of your surroundings, the vibrant colors of the leaves, the laughter of children, the warmth of the sun. When you immerse yourself in this moment, you cultivate a deep sense of peace and fulfillment. As you reflect on your daily life, consider how often you find yourself preoccupied with regrets or anxieties. How does that impact your ability to connect with those around you? Perhaps you've been in conversations where your mind drifts to tasks yet undone or mistakes made in the past. This distraction robs you of genuine connection and appreciation for the present. Embracing the here and now allows you to experience life more fully, fostering richer relationships and deeper satisfaction. To cultivate this practice, Explore mindfulness techniques that help you ground yourself in the present. Simple exercises like focusing on your breath, observing your surroundings, or engaging fully in tasks can enhance your awareness. Additionally, consider incorporating moments of gratitude into your day. Number six, mindfulness practices. 
Mindfulness is more than just a trendy buzzword. It's a transformative practice that invites us to engage fully with the present moment. Think of a time when you felt completely absorbed in an experience, whether it was listening to music, savoring a meal, or enjoying a walk. That feeling of being fully present is what mindfulness aims to cultivate. However, in our busy lives, distractions abound, making it challenging to remain anchored in the now. Reflect on those moments when your mind feels scattered, racing from one thought to the next. It's a familiar struggle for many, yet it doesn't have to define your experience. Imagine being able to pause, take a breath, and return to the present moment. This ability can be cultivated through mindfulness practices, which allow you to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. As you begin to engage with this concept, nostalgia may arise, reminding you of simpler times when being present felt more natural and effortless. The core of mindfulness lies in awareness. It's about paying attention to your thoughts, feelings and sensations in a non-reactive way. This practice creates space between stimulus and response, empowering you to choose how to react rather than being swept away by automatic reactions. You might find it interesting to explore techniques like body scans, mindful breathing or guided meditations, each designed to help you anchor yourself in the present. As you deepen your mindfulness practice, curiosity will inevitably emerge. What insights might you gain about your thought patterns? How might your daily experiences transform when viewed through the lens of mindfulness? Each moment offers an opportunity for exploration, inviting you to engage with life in a more intentional and meaningful way. Consider setting aside time each day to practice mindfulness. It could be as simple as a few minutes of focused breathing or observing the world around you. The key is consistency. Over time, you'll likely notice a shift in your ability to remain present, enhancing your overall well-being. Additionally, integrating mindfulness into daily activities, whether it's eating, walking or engaging in conversations, can transform even the most mundane tasks into opportunities for connection and awareness. Number 7. Cultivating Gratitude Gratitude is a powerful practice that can profoundly shift your perspective and enhance your overall well-being. Imagine waking up each morning with a heart full of appreciation for the simple blessings in your life, your health, loved ones, the beauty of nature. This shift from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance can be life-changing. Yet, in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to overlook the small joys that surround us. Think back to a time when you felt overwhelmed by negativity, perhaps after a challenging day at work or a personal setback. In those moments, gratitude can feel elusive. However, the act of consciously reflecting on what you're thankful for can ground you and restore your sense of joy. Nostalgia might surface as you recall moments of gratitude, those times when you felt deeply connected to the world around you, whether it was a shared laugh with a friend or a breathtaking sunset that took your breath away. The practice of cultivating gratitude doesn't mean ignoring life's challenges, rather. It's about recognizing the positives that coexist with difficulties. Research has shown that individuals who regularly practice gratitude experience lower stress levels, improved mental health, and stronger relationships. This emotional resilience allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease. To integrate gratitude into your daily routine, consider keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, jot down three things you're thankful for, no matter how small. This practice trains your mind to focus on the positive aspects of your life, reinforcing a sense of abundance. You might also explore expressing gratitude to others. Take a moment to thank a friend, family member or colleague for their support. This simple act not only strengthens your relationships, but also cultivates a culture of appreciation in your life. 
As you engage with gratitude, allow curiosity to guide you. What shifts in your perspective occur when you focus on the positives? How does gratitude impact your relationships and overall outlook on life? By consciously nurturing this practice, you'll likely find that gratitude becomes a powerful force in your life, bringing a sense of peace and fulfillment amidst the chaos. Number 8. Daily Gratitude Journaling Daily gratitude journaling is a simple yet profound practice that can transform your mindset and enrich your life. Picture this at the end of each day. You take a few moments to reflect on your experiences, noting the moments of joy, connection or beauty that you encountered. It's an intentional pause, an opportunity to anchor yourself in the present and acknowledge the richness of your life. As you think back to your day, you might recall moments that brought you joy, a warm cup of coffee in the morning, a compliment from a colleague, or a conversation with a loved one. These moments, though seemingly small, hold the power to shift your perspective. Nostalgia may wash over you as you remember days filled with laughter, connection, and simple pleasures. It's a reminder of the beauty inherent in everyday life. Engaging in daily gratitude journaling not only fosters a positive mindset, but also enhances your emotional resilience. When you take the time to reflect on what you're thankful for, you actively counterbalance negative thoughts and stresses. This practice creates a mental space where appreciation can thrive, allowing you to cultivate a more fulfilling life. To begin your gratitude journaling practice, Set aside a few minutes each day, perhaps in the morning, to set a positive tone, or at night, to reflect on the day's blessings. Write down three to five things you're grateful for, no matter how small. As you develop this habit, you may find that your awareness of gratitude expands, leading to deeper appreciation for the people and experiences in your life. Consider allowing your curiosity to guide your journaling. What patterns emerge in your entries? Are there specific themes or moments that resonate with you? Reflecting on these insights can deepen your understanding of what brings you joy and fulfillment. Over time, daily gratitude journaling becomes a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. Number 9. The Ripple Effect of Gratitude the ripple effect of gratitude extends far beyond our individual experiences. It has the power to create a positive wave that influences the people around us. Imagine a scenario where you express gratitude to a friend or colleague. Your appreciation not only brightens their day, but also inspires them to pass that positivity on to others. It's a beautiful chain reaction showcasing the interconnectedness of our emotions and actions. Reflect on the times you've received genuine gratitude from someone. That simple thank you or heartfelt acknowledgement can uplift your spirits, reminding you of your value and impact on others. Nostalgia may surface as you recall moments when you felt appreciated, creating a warm sense of belonging. In those moments, you may have realized that gratitude isn't just a solitary experience, it's a shared journey that fosters deeper connections and community. Research has shown that expressing gratitude can enhance relationships, increase empathy, and foster a sense of belonging. When we acknowledge the contributions of others, we create an environment where appreciation flourishes. This ripple effect encourages people to be more kind and supportive, creating a culture of gratitude that enriches our lives and those around us. To harness the power of this ripple effect, consider making gratitude a regular part of your interactions. Take the time to thank those around you, friends, family, colleagues, or even strangers who show you kindness. By expressing appreciation, you're not only enhancing your relationships, but also inspiring others to embrace gratitude in their lives. Curiosity may arise as you explore the ways gratitude can create positive change in your community. What impact could your expressions of gratitude have on those around you? 
How might this ripple effect transform your relationships and environment? Embracing gratitude as a communal practice allows us to cultivate a more positive, supportive and connected world, reminding us of the beauty inherent in our shared humanity. Number 10. The Gift of Life The gift of life is perhaps the most profound realization we can embrace. Each day presents us with the opportunity to experience joy, connection and growth. Yet in our busy lives, it's easy to take this gift for granted. Picture a moment in your life when you were fully aware of the miracle of existence. Perhaps a breathtaking sunrise, the laughter of a child, or a quiet moment of reflection. These experiences hold the essence of what it means to truly live, reminding us of the beauty that surrounds us. Reflect on times when you felt deeply connected to the world. Maybe it was during a moment of triumph, a simple gathering with loved ones, or even a time of struggle that brought clarity and growth. Nostalgia can evoke a bittersweet longing for those moments, reminding us of the richness of human experience. The truth is, life is a mosaic of highs and lows, each moment contributing to the tapestry of our existence. Embracing the gift of life invites us to cultivate an attitude of appreciation and mindfulness. The Stoics believed in the importance of recognizing the impermanence of life, urging us to live with intention and purpose. When we acknowledge the fleeting nature of our experiences, we become more present, savoring each moment and cherishing the connections we forge along the way. As you engage with this concept, curiosity may arise about how you can deepen your appreciation for life. What small practices can you incorporate into your daily routine to honor this gift? Perhaps it's taking time each day to reflect on the beauty around you, engaging in meaningful conversations, or pursuing passions that ignite your spirit. Each of these practices can enhance your connection to life, fostering a sense of fulfillment and purpose. In recognizing the gift of life, we embrace the journey with all its complexities. We become more attuned to the present, allowing ourselves to experience joy, love and gratitude in every moment. This perspective shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, creating a profound sense of abundance that enriches our lives and those around us. As we wrap up this exploration of Stoic principles and the transformative power of gratitude, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own journey. Embracing these practices can lead to profound shifts in your perspective and experiences. If you're ready to cultivate a life filled with resilience, joy, and deeper connections, drop a comment below. Type 100. If you've watched this far, this signifies you're part of the rare 0.01% who finishes what they start. If you're serious about making lasting changes in your life, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join us on this path to enlightenment and growth where we'll continue to share insights and tools to help you thrive. Thank you for being here, and remember, the gift of life is in your hands. Let's make the most of it together.